Matteo Bologna and Sean Adams. Good morning. Good morning. So, are you awake? I am awake. This is my problem. Okay. Everybody's concerned about the driving and texting issue, and I understand that that is a serious issue. Sort of. Because I don't know why it's a problem. If you're, if you're in the back seat and you're texting your friends, no, what is the problem? It wasn't. A, a, okay, if I have to explain mm -hmm. you how it was. It's mm -hmm. not the person that is in the back. If you drive and text. Oh, if your driver's texting. Yes. Isn't oh, okay, okay. Because it seemed to me like the whole, like, so what are you, I always sit in the back seat and text. It's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, right? apparently. Yeah. Okay, that was a joke. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> didn't work. I told you I that know, joke know, didn't know, work. Well, yeah. Was the delivery <laughs> probably, it probably was the accent. <laughs> it's mine, it's awful. It's, it's out of control. Um, so I met with him this morning. And um, it's, it's three dedicated, hardworking people that are committed to, to doing this. Um, and the mentors, it's incredible. And the work is good? The work is really good. The problem, of course, though, is that they are reticent to show me anything because they're convinced I'm going to then go and show all of you, which I am. So um, it's, it's sort of like I've got to figure out another technique to get them to actually show things, money? like threatening or something. Do you, no, do you try money? No. It always works. I'll try that. I'll try that. My so, country um, is based on that. So we should take a look and, and see what they're up to and, and, and what happened this morning. Good morning. It's 7.30 again, and we are here for Command X. The cool thing about being here at 7.30, even though it's super early, is that there's these sausage and egg things. They're super good, and I got them for everyone else. Okay, so let's see what they're up to. This is why I love Minnesota. I can't have this in Los Angeles. You will be arrested for eating something like this. This is amazing. So I love it. Sorry, Joey. Um, okay, uh, so texting and driving. Now, the only thing I can think about is like in Glee when that girl got hit by a car because she was doing that. W what's your thought about texting and driving? Bad, good, fun? <laughs> uh, I do it. I've done it. That's very bad. Very, very bad. Yeah. I, I don't get in the car and plan on doing it, uh -huh. but I do it. And so I want to start the project based on the honesty that that I do it and most of us have done it. I won't allow him to text. In any event. He has to come to my room, actually. Very nice. Like me. Like, yeah. yeah, like with, any, everybody. With usually alcohol and food. <laughs> so only, how, only with alcohol. No, but no, the, the thing I'm concerned about is that, and Joey's young and he texts probably, do you understand what texting is? Have you done that? Is it on a typewriter? <laughs> My only fear is it's such a great idea. I hope the other people haven't thought of it also. Because it's, there's some pretty clear paths as to how this problem uh -huh. can be solved. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, I don't think it's going to be a nice poster. So have you thought about this? Do you have an idea yet? Are you? I have a framework that I'm, I'm pumped about, I think. It's going to be more how to solidify it and, and make it actually presentable. Have you been texting your idea to your friends while you were thinking about this? No, no. I haven't. You people are no fun whatsoever. You could be texting your friends and be like, are you driving? I've got an idea for you. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. That's, and then that could be part of your research to see yeah, if they answer yeah. or not. I saw something. Both times I've been working with Kate, she's incredibly talented. Uh -huh. And I thought, how does somebody get ideas that are so clear this quickly? Mm. You know, and I realized that she's doing some performance enhancing thing. You know, we've all done that from time to yeah. time. I think she's going to nail these other people. We have to Don't be. Say that. No, you can't say it. Say it. Can't say it another way. She's going to surpass these <laughs> Very people <good>. That's much <laughs> in ways that are unimaginable. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So you've got sketches. This is very impressive. I like that. You've actually been thinking about this and working. I have been thinking. Yes, I have. Um, I've been thinking a lot about it, and I don't think anyone would argue that texting and driving is good. I, I might. Okay. Well, sometimes, What's like, well, you know, if, like, someone's, like, wants to talk to you or something. Yeah, but I don't know <laughs> if it's a good idea. Probably not. That's why you drive. Not yeah, so okay. Well. So I, I'm going to take the approach of trying to, to create a solution rather than tell people that it's a bad idea. You people are really dull. It's much more fun to admonish people and yell at them and, and tell them they're bad, bad, bad people and probably unloved because they text. <laughs> but no one wants to take that That's route. That's one way to go. 
Well, I've just learned of some really distressing news that Jennifer Morla texted that she would be here at 8, and she is not, which proves this is dangerous. This is not reliable. It's unsafe at any speed whatsoever. So we're going to have to move on, and I'm going to have to go drive around looking for Jennifer driving and texting. All right. Thanks so much. So that, that was, yeah. they, they're, they're doing pretty good. So of course, um, they're still there working very hard, plugging away. And, and as usual, I have, in all seriousness, they are incredibly brave people. The, the, the contestants that are still up on the stage and the, and the contestants that are still winners that have been up here before, um, they deserve, kind of. are bowing, and you know, I'm not bowing to you, okay. are bowing to them all okay, the time. Good. Okay. <laughs> so this afternoon, you see more of them again. Say hi to them in the, in the um, fair, and um, we'll see you then. Okay, hey. bye guys. Okay, I'm a little sad. This is nearly the end. I mean, it's probably the end of, for some of you. <laughs> but I'm sad because I mean, I'm not gonna see all of you, all my friends here. Sorry, I'm being an idiot. Um, okay, so here we are again. You know the mentors, okay, Jennifer, Michael, and Rick. and. Uh, we have uh, the finalists, and now we're going to see what they did, okay? Um, just a reminder, they're going to win something, and uh, that something is? Slide. Okay. Um, $1,000. The 12-month subscription to Adobe Creative Cloud, the Linotype Originals Library, Pantone Essential, and open to this is not, sorry. Uh, one, they, they didn't want to give it to us. Okay, um, <laughs> bad people. Uh, one, three months, Shutterstock subscription, and then did, did they tell you fame that? and glory and uh, women or men. <laughs> okay, so they had uh, just about 24 hours to do this beautiful work, hopefully, and uh, about, you know, why is a complete idiot, about the complete idiocy of texting while driving. And uh, so I suppose uh, you came out with posters, websites, <laughs> um, business cards, cards, printed stuff. Okay, we'll see what they came out with. Okay, so um, let's start. With joy. Yes, <laughs> Mateo, is there a. Ah, there is this thing, sorry. No comments. Hey, everybody. Um, excellent. So, I hope everyone has had fun so far. Uh, today's challenge is definitely different. It's a little more serious, and we've uh, acted as such, despite smiling. I smile when I'm nervous. Yeah. Um, so texting while driving is the problem that we had to take a look at and figure out a solution. So with a quick show of hands, how many of you have texted ever while driving? Be honest. Yeah, yeah. Me too. So pretty much the vast majority of the crowd has done it, and I'm sure no one is proud. And it, as it turns out, uh, texting while driving kills more people now than drunk driving. So it is serious. Um, so what we had to look at was and ask ourselves, is this, it, this is a problem introduced by technology, so should it be solved by technology? Um, yes. We think it was, but we weren't positive. So we went around to all of you guys not all of you guys, some of you guys, and we asked a question, if you text while you drive, why do you do it? And it turns out that a lot of you guys don't 
actively text, but you reactively text. So when people are texting you, you're responding. Uh, so that was really important to learn that. Uh, and at first, we thought an app would solve the problem. But we began to realize that this problem is bigger than an app, that asking people to just go and do something else is kind of this, almost the same as asking them not to do something else, or something like that. <laughs> uh, so there's something on your phone right now that protects you from your phone itself, and it's airplane mode, and made by Apple. It's a setting. After a lot of thinking, we realized that Apple could do something to protect us from ourselves and our phones, from our phones with car mode, uh, which for some reason doesn't exist. So let's jump right in. Here's how car mode works. If you have a Bluetooth connected phone, you immediately pair up with your car when you get in and you enter car mode. For those of us, myself included, that don't have a Bluetooth connected phone, you can just slide up and enter car mode like you would enter airplane mode, which we're all familiar with. And as you can see, the car is first because we drive more than we fly. Uh, and this was important to make a manual mode because we didn't want there to be this, this saving lives needs to be easy, right? So we don't want to make it difficult for people to have to install something in their car, to have to go buy something because it's not going to work. So it's as easy as can be. Everyone has, a, not everyone, but Whoever has an iPhone in their pocket right now, this can work. So here's the active car mode main page. As you can see, it's completely blank. Not even the time shows. There's nothing to distract you. No texts, no emails, no notifications. Uh, what's next? Yes. So everything works when you're in car mode. You can hit the button on your hands-free Bluetooth. You can make a phone call. Bless you. Um, <laughs> And you can navigate as usual, and there's a little red icon that lets you know, yes, you are in car mode, so you aren't getting any messages, nothing's interrupted, so you always know you're in car mode, never an accident. Uh, and here's the really interesting part, and it's all about protecting yourself from the distractions of others in your pocket. So Courtney here is receiving a text, and what's happening is the person who's texting her is being notified via text, which can also work with a non-iPhone, and it says Courtney's iPhone is currently in car mode. So this is good for two reasons. One, the person knows Courtney's not ignoring her. And two, Courtney knows that she has peace of mind that she's not being rude because she's not answering. So back to the active car mode homepage, you can see at the bottom to exit, you either cancel car mode manually in your little car mode drawer or just turn off the engine. And once the Bluetooth does, uh, disconnects, it exits. And the following screen here is what shows up when you arrive at your destination. <laughs> OK, so, uh, so this is a review of what you missed. All in all, car mode is a problem introduced by technology that can be solved by technology. And it's as simple as a setting. OK, great. Um, I have a, we don't have much time, sorry guys. So uh, I have just one quick question. Does it work for Android too? Yes. <laughs> okay, um, do you guys have anything to say? I arrived at the airport here when I came to the conference and I realized that I had not turned my phone off when I was told to do so. I just can't imagine remembering to turn my phone to car setting when I get in. I barely remember to put the seatbelt on before I start to drive. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. Does it happen automatically? It does. Bluetooth turns it on. I can't oh, save everyone. Good. Okay, well, I got that little tooth right there. I'm sorry. Okay. Perfect. Um, okay, so let's go to the second contestant. We have Lindsay. And you need this. So what does that sound make you want to do? Instantly, when you hear that sound, you want to look at your phone. Like Joey said, it's reactive texting that's the problem. 
What we need to do is remove the temptation to respond to those texts. We need to reach all drivers, anyone who has a car, and we need to make it cost effective. We also need to do it right now. We need to be able to put something out there tomorrow that could work. And we need something that's really easy to use. I've designed an app that does all of these things. It's called TTYL. With this app, you and your friends can tell each other whether you're driving or not. It's one screen and you flip the, you slide the U to the other side to tell people that you are driving and you'll talk to them later. Below you can see that all of your contacts from your phone are listed there who also have this app. That way they'll know whether you're driving or not and then you can remove that temptation altogether. You can see there that two people flipped, so it's real time and you can tell right away when someone is driving. When you go to, to type a message, you can see right there when you're going to type whether they're driving or not. You can also see in the upper right hand corner that the icon is up there letting you know that your phone is in driving mode. And when you're getting ready to text, you'll get this little reminder just in case so you have a second to pause and make sure you whether you want to send that message or not. And lastly, it's free, you can download it and a notice can be sent. Ooh, <laughs> it's still on. Um, <laughs> you can you'll a notice would be sent with all vehicles that are registered. So once a year you'll get some information that can tell you, you know, you can get this app and you can use it. With TTYL, you and your friends can make it safer and resist the temptation to text while driving. And you can get this really soon. So I hope I get to talk to you all later. Okay. Thank you very much. It was great. Anything to add? For all the old fogies in the audience, so Lindsay, TTYL, talk to you later. Okay. I know everybody else knows that here. So, okay. I th sure. so advantage, you know, right away. Does it have to wait for Apple to, you know, put it up. in, wise up, you know? It's your turn now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hi. The problem with smartphones is that it turns us all into idiots. So I speculated that we could use that same technology to correct this behavior by bringing Google Glass into the window panes and sides, the windows and windshields, excuse me, and linking them to your smartphone, making your car just as smart as your phone to help fix this bad habit. We need to acknowledge the human condition of actively choosing ignorance of our own bad behaviors and removing superfluous steps out of the way. So the first time you make an offense, you access your phone, anything, you get the gentle Siri type reminder, a voice comes on and says something along the lines of, please refrain from using your phone. The message goes away and hopefully you refrain from using your phone. The second time, <laughs> you get the, the Simon Cowell type treatment where it's a little more forceful telling you to stop it and again, hopefully you take that away and stop it. But the third time, <laughs> you get the Satan-like wake the fuck up message of stop doing what you're doing because you also need to remember that you are not the only one on the road. You are not the only one in the world. <laughs> so the other side lets everyone else know that we have an idiot on board driving this vehicle. And lastly, we do not want you to end up in a tub of recycled butter packaging. <laughs> So please drive safe. Good job. Great. Okay. So. Uh
apparently is a, a prerogative of all graphic designer to have a bad mouth. Okay. Good, you're in the club. <laughs> Welcome, congratulations. Okay, um, anything to add? I don't know if that's going to look that good on my car, so I would definitely not be texting. <laughs> that's right. And, and it's sort of like a Pavlovian moment where you get conditioned, you know, based on humility, or I'm sorry, humiliation, to just sort of stop, you know. How about just putting electrodes in the ch the seat? Well, so they were actually on the steering wheel. They she were. had little okay. things. So, so on that third one, it just sort of thing. dog collar. Right. That's right. Okay, I see there's a lot of violence here today. Okay, it's calm chronic. down, calm down, guys. Okay, so um, I suppose now it's your turn to decide. Um, it's going to be very difficult because the three concepts are pretty cool. Nobody really used type, which saddens me terribly um, because I'm a type nerd. And, but it's okay. It's okay because here the concept is really important. And um, good luck. It's your job. Takes the name of your favorite two, 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 three, three, three. Look at the name and use, if you have Android, or use your iPhone app. Okay? Thank you very much. Who's more excited? I don't know. Um, you're ex I want I'm excited. Okay, show me your excitement. Okay, <laughs> no, too much. Okay, um, so let's go again with the prices because we need to. I cannot tell the name of the winner right away. So we have cash, one million dollar. <laughs> One 12-month subscription to Adobe Creative Cloud. We have the Linotype Originals Library. One three-month subscription to Shutterstock and Glory. Glory. Yeah. Okay, so um, I have notes here. Mm. Yes. So the audience, you guys made the final decision for who's America next top designer. The winner is, I mean, you guys, can you believe that somebody who used fucking Comic Sans <laughs> is the winner? Yeah, I, Joey, yes! I'm disgusted. <laughs> Great job. Now you have to thank America. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thank you all. Everybody is a winner here, even if you lost. <laughs> and uh, I have to thank, before we leave, Bonnie. Come here. And Sean. Yeah, yeah you're amazing. Okay, so thank everybody. Photo moment. Say cheese. I don't know. Perfect. Okay, let's go. Thank you.